I woke up today with a thought. Nay, I woke up today with a question, a quandary. I was wondering what is Fat Records most popular music video that isn't no effects because Fat Mike has this little company, this little record label called Fat Records, where it's basically just the record label for no effects to flourish in. You know what I mean? But there are some other names attached with this record label. So, what is the most popular thing that they've ever put? to YouTube. I could go on to Spotify or Apple Music and see what's the most listened to stuff, but I don't care about that. I'm here on YouTube. I want to know what the most popular thing is on this platform. But before I do that, I'm going to introduce myself real quick. My name is Dan Frampton. I am the internet's most ruthless gatekeeper, and today I'm here to gatekeep Fat Records the way that Fat Mike intended. I should say, Fat Michael Bartholomew the Third. If you like what you're seeing around these parts, you could like, comment, and subscribe. I've just reached this crazy 10,000 subscriber goal that I've had, so I'm gonna be doing a 24 hour live stream very shortly. I'm not sure when. You gotta do a whole bunch of planning to make this kind of stuff happen, and then also life happens. So this thing is a lot harder to schedule than I thought it would be, but believe me, it's top of mind, top of priority, and it's gonna happen. Some more house cleaning. I got some interviews on the way. Kicking back is coming back to a living room near you. Okay, so with all of that being said, I gotta click it over here, and I gotta set up this scene really quick because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this thing over here called reacting to a music video. So, Fat Records. Let's just go over to their little channel over here. Okay, we got Fat Records, no big deal, that's pretty good. What does it say? Fat Records is an indie label co-founded in San Francisco, blah, 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 blah. All right, very good, very cool, very awesome. But I want videos, and not the most recent, because right here, we're gonna get some recent videos. I want most popular videos. So I've already done this, I've hit this button, I know what the most popular thing is. I'm not gonna build any tension, it's probably also in the thumbnail or whatever. Here it is, most popular thing, no effects, okay. No effects, okay, here we go. The Bomb Pops, <laughs> what the hell? Out of all the bands associated with Fat Records, the Bomb Pops are the most popular thing here. And they're not really a band anymore, at least in the formation that they were here six years ago. And we're talking about all these other bands. Oh, wait a second, no effects, no effects, no effects, no effects, no effects, and then no use for a name. So in all this sea of no effects, all right, you got the Bomb Pops shining like diamonds up here at the top of the list. And there would have been a time three years worth of time where it would have been the number two video on this channel. California in July by The Bomb Pops. Now as I understand it, The Bomb Pops aren't really popping anymore. Jen Pop, uh, the vocalist or whatever, she's out doing her own thing. She's doing some acoustic stuff. She's crazy on the Instagram. She's got the dogs on the go. You know what I mean? She's a big dog person. A little social butterfly. You see her here. You see her there doing all the things. And on a label with legendary names like Mad Caddies, No Use for a Name, Strung Out, Less Than Jake, and even The Masked Intruder, you got so many Bomb Pops videos. They were right there at the top of all these bands. Why hasn't anyone ever heard of the Bomb Pops? Why hasn't the Bomb Pops made the waves that they should have? How did Fat Mike and Fat Records drop the ball so hard with the Bomb Pops. They should be going on being one of the top pop punk bands today in the year 2023 because it is so popular today, way more popular than it was six years ago, and they could be really cashing in right now, but I don't know, man. I'm not a businessman. Fat Michael Bartholomew is the businessman here, and he's probably making the decisions that make, make sense for him. But I don't know, dude, 3.5 million views, that might seem like something you want to explore a little bit more, you know, from a business perspective. But no more adieu, okay? Right now, we gotta watch this music video. I gotta pop on the cans. And right away, we are greeted here with a pretty nice little shot. You got like a little boardwalk thing happening. Very coastal, all right? You got the literal coast behind them and some ocean. That is setting the vibe for me, okay? I'm loving that so much. Now, I haven't heard this song before. 
Well, maybe I have, maybe years ago. This has left my brain. And before I watch this, I wanna get a little bit of critique out of the way first, because it is a part of my opinion. I think Gen Pop doesn't necessarily have the strongest vocals in the world. So stripping back the instrumental to just this acoustic thing really isn't working for me in the current age. But as a pop punk vocalist out there in the festivals playing these shows, absolutely top notch stuff. And she's got the look times 100. All right, so I lied, there was more adieu. But now there's no more adieu. Without any further adieu, we got California in July by the Bomb Pop. Let's go! That's a pretty bitchin' opening riff. A little drum fill to kick everybody in. Sounds amazing. Oh yeah, that's shot well. It sounds good. That's cool as hell. If this kind of stuff was happening today with Blink-182 doing the whole revival thing, you got Green Day back doing their thing, Simple Plans doing their thing. If we had the Bomb Pops during this age, I think this could be very, very successful stuff. What I mean about her vocals, they're not really the strongest vocals in the world, but with this kind of pop punk kind of instrumental, this kind of delivery is working for me. I like this quite a bit. Oh, those harmonies are actually sounding pretty tight. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you right now. I think they got the look, they got the sound, they got the pizza, they got everything going on here. This is the total vibe. This encapsulates it kind of perfectly, if I'm being honest with you. The three locations so far in this music video are badass. You got the coastal thing happening, you got the DIY venue over here, and then you got, of course, the skate park. They're at the bottom of the bowl, just like that Matt Skibbity toilet thing that we were just watching. Yeah, this has got personality. This has got attitude. This has got a little bit of edge to it, okay? Ever since Kathleen Hanna back in the 90s popularized this riot girl movement, women in punk rock have been rebelling against the status quo, and rightfully so. I love it. I am here for every bit of everything that they were doing, okay? But along the timeline, if you're a girl entering the punk rock world, you might feel a little bit of pressure to be that kind of Kathleen Hanna, that kind of rebellious type person, but if you just want to like rip some chords, have some fun, maybe eat some pizza and drink some beers, <laughs> that's okay too, bro. That is some good pop punk guitar playing right there. The drummer's not too shabby either. Now it would be easy to criticize this for just doing all the pop punk cliches as pop punk cliches they possibly can, you know? They got the flat brim hat, they got the turned up hat, they got the thick frame glasses, all right? They're doing the skateboarding. So yeah, it's a little tropey, it's a little cliche, but I think that it's nailing it. Cause people do go out there and do this kind of trope work, but flop on it so hard. And like I said, this stuff is just hitting for me right now. You got the elbow and knee pads going on, this little deer here, wonderful stuff. Clears it, huge ollie, bro. Look at that, wow. All I'm here to do is go like, <laughs> pop punk, skateboarding, pizza, it's in video together. That hook is great, those harmonies really bring it together. You wanna get everybody screaming, California! Uh, there's a reason why I don't do this anymore. <laughs> Those are very humble and personal and relatable lyrics. Those lyrics kind of remind me of the way that modern baseball used to write. Where it feels kind of just like a diary entry where it's like, we would sit on the couch and I would make you listen to all the songs that I wish I wrote. You know what I mean? That's just like very personal and also very relatable kind of stuff. It reminds me of the line, my modern baseball, we could watch planet earth and brainstorm tattoos. So that was the bomb pops. Fat Mike's most popular project that isn't no effects. Whatever you gotta do, Fat Michael Bartholomew III, to get these 
folks back together, making music like this again, putting out videos like this again, you gotta be doing it, okay? I know Jen wants to be going out doing her own like acoustic stuff, and the Bomb Pops do still do like festivals and that kind of thing, but I don't care about that. I want hot, new, fresh, new music from this band, and Fat Michael Bartholomew the Third. I think you're the man to make this happen. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here right now. If you enjoyed this video, watch one of these videos. Okay, see you later.